do it all the time. It's the next best thing. Hey, you kids don't know. Your generation is just determined to be angry, mad. Everybody's mad. Back when we were growing up, only black people were mad. Now, everybody's just trying to get in on the act. I try to think to myself, well, when did everyone get mad? And then I realized this happened before we were born. This is a long way to go, but probably started in the Second World War. Think about it. All these black men, millions of black men, leave the United States for the first time, go over to Europe with America's armed forces, and fight the Nazis, and make more money fighting Nazis than they ever dreamed they would make in the United States. And a lot of those men, while they were in Europe, just to, just to be real, not to be crass, a lot of them probably got their dick sucked by white women. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen, this was World War II Europe, and these were desperate times, and penises were being sucked for shoelaces and chocolate and very frivolous things. And it's very hard to come back to America and sit on the back of the bus after you've been in the south of France getting your dick sucked for a crunch bar or some crazy shit like that. That's a life-changing experience. And while that was happening in Europe, here in America, for the first time, women entered the workforce in mass by the millions. All the men were gone. Someone had to run the factory. The ladies did it. That's right. This was the first generation of American women to have independent income in mass. And when the men came back, the women weren't the same. American women had grown. They were uttering phrases that no woman on earth had ever spoken before. Things like no and shut the fuck up and I don't feel like it. And then behind the scenes of that, there was a little known government agency that started testing mind control drugs on the American public. They fucked up. They tested it for 12 years. They didn't realize these drugs were not mind controlling. They were mind expanding. It was LSD and mescaline and shit like that. And for the first time, there was a new school of thought that was chemically induced that made people question the very society they lived in. By 1960, the president of the United States was only 42 years old. Can you imagine? DMX is older than that. And he was going to usher in a new era of peace. He was going to avoid the Cold War. He was going to end segregation. And they blew his fucking brains out in front of everyone in Dallas. This country was never the same. There were seven more major assassinations in the 60s. Anyone that stood up and said anything was shot down the streets like a fucking dog. Kennedy, Kennedy, King, X, Evers, on and on. He didn't have to be famous. You could be a college student at Kent State or Mississippi protesting the Vietnam War, and they shot them too. The 70s were a wild era. And while all this was going on, Bill Cosby raped 54 people. <laughs> Holy shit, that's a lot of rapes, man. This guy's putting up real numbers. He's like the Steph Curry of rape. Man, that's a lot of rapes. 54. He had raped 30 less people. That's still two dozen rapes. Don't forget each one of these rapes has eight hours of sleep in it. Ladies and gentlemen, that's over 400 hours of rape. It only takes 65 hours to get a pilot's license. If rapes were aircrafts, this nigga's top gun for sure. <laughs>